Hello there and welcome back to another Luminar Neo update video. The latest update version 1.14.1 has just been released, bringing several improvements to the Neon and Glow tool and additionally also enhancements for the brush tool. In this video, we will review the updates and then explore the features directly in the application. So there you have it, it's time to look at the list of the updates for the latest version 1.14.1. Now don't forget that if you want to see the full list of all the updates and the features, then you head to the Skylum website, skylum.com slash forward what's new slash forward Luminar Neo. To start with, let's talk about the Neon and Glow tool update. The tool now allows you to draw freeform neon lights and experiment with shapes and intensity. You can also build polygonal shapes around your subjects to create incredible results. And I will show you how to do that later on in this video. Moving to the brush tool, you will notice improvements in your editing work. This includes more refined brushing performance, more accurate rendering of the first brush stroke in the toning tool and more responsive brush masks in Dodge and Burn. Plus, as usual, this latest version should work faster and steadier thanks to a number of bug fixes that Skylum caught. Covering even more Luminar Neo news, I want to remind you that our Luminar Neo Autumn and Halloween bundle is back and I will tell you a little bit more about it later on in this video. And there you have it, we are in Luminar Neo edit module and here we're going to be testing the new feature in the Neon and Glow tool. But before we do that, let's quickly click on the Luminar Neo logo select the About Luminar Neo and here you can see I'm running the latest version 1.14.1. Now let's close this and we can head directly into our main toolbar, then the creative section and open the Neon and Glow tool. Once you open it, you will notice that the top part of the tool is different. We still have the Neon, Glow and Masking tabs, however, in the Neon itself, we now have an option between the freeform drawing and the automatic mask. Now talking about the automatic mask, we have a full tutorial on how to use that already available on our YouTube channel and I will link it in the top corner of the screen now. However, just very quickly, the way it works, you increase the amount slider and then the application scans the image and look for the primary subject. Once it does that, it creates automatic mask and basically create the neon around it. You can then adjust it with the amount slider and you can also use the indent slider to basically move the neon from and to the subject. After that, you can still refine the mask by clicking on the refine object where you have the traditional brush tool and you can basically draw, erase and restore the mask for the neon. To make the mask adjustments easier, you can use the backslash key on your keyboard, hit it and then you will see the mask for the neon directly on your image. Once you're happy with it, again you hit the backslash key and it will bring back the neon. Now we are done with the automatic mask, so let's click on a little arrow to return into the tool and let's switch our attention to the new feature, the free drawing option. Once you click on it, you have two options here, draw and erase. So let's start with the draw. Once we click on the draw, our option only includes the amount slider. Now, when I hover over the image, our mouse turns into this pencil. Once we have the pencil, we can now draw a line on our image, which will create the neon, or we can also click once and then hold shift and click again and the application automatically creates line between the two points. Once again, the beginning of the line and then hold shift and click again and it creates the full line. 
So this is how you draw. Once you finish drawing, you can then adjust the amount of the neon and you can also erase part of it. To do that, you click on the erase and by doing that, you will get another slider which allows you to adjust the size of the erase brush. And with that, we can then paint over the parts of the neon we don't want to use. So again, for example, we can paint here and simply remove it. It's interesting to note that the mask for the free drawing and the automatic mask do not work together. Because if I now paint with the erase option over the mask created with the auto masking, it doesn't do anything. So you specifically adjust the free draw parts and the automatic mask. So to remove the automatic mask, all we need to do is to switch back to the automatic mask, click on the refine object, select the erase, and again, paint over the mask that was created automatically at the beginning. Finally, I wanna show you how you can use the free drawing option to create an interesting object. And to do this, let's first erase what we created earlier, and then we're gonna switch back to the drawing. So once we do that, we have our pen back, and then we can simply click once for the beginning of our element, then hold shift and again click right here. And again, hold shift and click here. And after that, we're gonna again hold shift and click towards the starting point and create triangle just like that. With the same technique, you can also create squares, crosses and other similar polygons. Now, if you wanna see how to create a beautiful neon elements using the element templates, we have a really nice tutorial covering that already on our YouTube channel. And once again, I will link it in a corner of the screen now. Finally, since we here, we talk about the brush and the masking earlier in this video. So let's go ahead and finish the overall look by going into the masking. Here, we are gonna select the brush and we're gonna remove part of the triangle to finish the loop. So we're gonna zoom in, then use the space bar to move around, and let's start by adjusting our brush. Let's make it a little bit bigger and bring down the softness to, let's say, 15, and then we need to make sure that we are on erase. After this, let's just bring the softness down a little bit, and once you're ready, you can start removing a specific parts of the neon to add and create depth on the image. I'm not gonna bore you here, I'm gonna speed it up, and once we're ready, we're gonna continue. And just like that, using a simple erase option on our brush, we have added a depth to the overall element, hiding it behind a specific object, and really creating a beautiful result. Now, before I'm gonna let you go, I wanna quickly remind you that our Luminar Neo Autumn Bundle is back. Get it today and get over 721 Autumn elements to power up your favorite tools in Luminar Neo. For a little fee, you will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs, and presets to transform your Autumn images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, make sure that you use the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head directly to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.